Oop, and I already found a mistake. Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Just I didn't have the, I didn't have one of the windows up. Freaking Google Meet and OBS Streamlabs sometimes aren't the best friends. Oh what is yeah. What's going on here? Yeah. Okay. We can Hello. always use Zoom. No, okay. we're good. We're live. Hello. 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 Good Hello, evening. Everybody. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Wow, your hat is so perfectly framed on your face, I feel like. Yes. Look at that hat. It I've is... always been told I have a hat face. It's perfect for that hat. Your face. Okay. Thank you. My uh, face is perfect for the hat. Thank hi you. there. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, it's welcome to whatever we call this stream. Adventure time happen. with Adventure Emma. That's you, there we Adventure go. Emma. I have a sense of adventure. Oh my goodness. I do. I'm feeling particularly adventurous tonight. Oh. But, um, intent. Yes. Yes. If you saw on Twitter, if there is even anybody here, um, I do have something I'm going to wait on. There's something to surprise and possibly mm. delight us. Mm. But a consumable I received from a farmer today. Uh, farmers can do no wrong. They only give you things from the earth. Therefore, they're No, they friends. can do wrong things. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. They... Uh, it's possible. I'm I'm excited. I don't know. This is some sort of. Well, we'll leave it for later. But we'll leave hi, it for later. your adventure, Emma. I'm assistant Rudy. Assistant Rudy. Today, that's much less adventurous than adventure. Emma. Well, sometimes adventurers need an assistant, and that's where I come into play. Oh, but, bless your heart. Uh, today we're continuing our journey into the Secret of Monkey Island Two mm -hmm. Special Edition. See, it's special yes. because you can switch between the two versions, but we're going to stick to the old version because that's nostalgia, baby. Yes. Um, so where we last left off in the game, we have created the Largo voodoo doll. So we're looking for him so we can poke it with pins and hopefully scare him off. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, let's let's annoy. Let's annoy Largo. Can I just do it? I think Largo is out of okay. voodoo range. He's out of voodoo range. So let's go to where his room is. Yeah. In the hotel. He's out of voodoo range. I feel like there isn't, there shouldn't be a voodoo range as part of the point of. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Doing a thing like that. Yeah. Okay. It's to affect people over distance. Get out of my room. It's little, mean looking, and ugly. Just like Largo. He's he mad. Take that, you stumpy little dim witted toad. What? Who do you think you are? I'm this. Guybrush three. Yeah, People don't he deserves it. He's been terrorizing he's this nice. town for too dead. long. He's I'm mean. gonna tear mm -hmm. you limb from limb. How are you doing? That? I love the brief moments the in which Guybrush no does what he succeeds at what he's meant to yes. do. Yes, me it's a rarity, so yeah. it's enjoyable. I already spent totally. all your money. Man, this looks oh. so bad. Well, I command free, you to leave this, this new version. Margo looks awful. Make... It does. It's just there's something. Like looking at the the building in the background gives yeah. me like motion sickness. Yeah, it's a just like a, a of the bizarre, of the like what's that? Two D, three D. Oh, as a matter of spoilers. Fact, I did. But um, quite an interesting story, I don't, actually. I don't understand. Like this, the old version she has did, such like a she? Does she have innocent, uh, not innocence, but that, like simplicity yes. to it, I guess. Yeah, it does. That I really appreciate, and they're just trying to do too much with. I don't know. Well, like when did they make the new version? Uh, a few years ago, when they released a special edition. Now we can bring it back to life. Oh. So I don't so, know. Yeah. I was expecting you to say like early 2000s. Yeah, I agree. Just just the way it looks, it doesn't seem yeah. like a Oops. modern choice. It's just I don't know. Uh, it seems like a mess to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy I got a new version with voice acting in it, and I'm happy I can switch back and hear the voice acting in the old school version. So. Anyway, uh, the premise of the game just <laughs> happened. It did. I was barely paying attention. <laughs> yes, agreed. Uh, Guybrush, speaking of doing the wrong thing, was mm -hmm. bragging about killing LeChuck and showed his beard to Largo, who stole it, and is now going to, I think, raise LeChuck back to life. Because mm -hmm. be Guybrush yes. stole, killed his spirit, and not, and not his and body, not, not exactly. his body, 
and he has like the beard's animated too, yes. right? Yes, it was like wiggling around, and there was It's a... just like Jim Davis's beard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Where can I hide? Yeah, Easter egg <laughs> for those Web DM fans. Yeah, be sure to check out Nightcap uh, with Jim Davis out. every Sunday to see it? that beard of wiggling. Right yeah, it's um, true. It's got every pocket? every color of the rainbow. Oh yeah, I was doing so. We got our next treasure. big thing it we have to do, which does involve looking word. for the treasure Find of Big Whoop. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. Yep, I these so these are very MacGuffin based. Y yes, like classic adventure game kind of a thing. You know? banana or mm -hmm. Where'd you get this? I checked it out. You I haven't played very much Quest for Glory, have you? No, I haven't played any Quest for Glory. Which Gee, that's thanks. fun because usually it's like an infiltration type. Mission. Okay. Yeah, that one. Well, that's a Sierra game, right? So you can like lose and die and stuff in those, right? Oh yes. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's not how Lucas Arts did it. No. Uh, except. Well. Uh, I think in Maniac Mansion, but it was one of those things where like you would have to you actually can... try to die. You can lose in the Indiana Jones movie or Indiana Jones. Game yeah, too. at certain points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I never got past um, in Last Crusade, uh, the fight with the great big Nazi. Yes, I remember in Fate of Atlantis. There's another moment where you fight a big guy, and the I don't know why they added that weird fighting mechanic, like the punching and stuff. It's it's part of the pulp. Thing. Yeah, you're right. It just it it seemed weird to kind of throw some action stuff in there. Anyway. Um, we can leave the island now, I'm pretty sure. Do you want to go to a different island? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah, what are our islands. options? Let's go Let's go get on the boat. Captain Dredd, I think is his name. That's oh. uh, voiced by the amazing Phil Lamar. Oh, yes. Mad TV fame. Uh, yeah, <laughs> amongst other things, but yes. <laughs> one of the fun. original Mad TV. I think the UPS, do you remember the UPS driver, I think, was one mm -hmm. of his characters? I think that was yep. him. Yeah. Yeah. Man TV is probably something I shouldn't be referencing because it is a terrible show. But oh, it's so. It's pretty bad. It's pretty but, bad. Let's it's see. pretty bad. Me again. But when I was so I 13. See. I remember I staying up late to try and watch Mad TV. All right. Let's see. Can we charter Why can't the I ship? ship? Mm -hmm. Like I said before, oh. man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen a seal and necklace. He lost a necklace. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. Oh yeah, it you gotta get the necklace. Ago. My navigator and I set sail for this. There's a new MacGuffin. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. Oh. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs, and I've kept it as a good luck charm. Rudy's cooking show. Uh, I could do a cooking show probably. I can figure that out. Is that interesting? No, not really. I mean, could be. <laughs> we'll what would later. you eat we'll for a pizza? Australia. I could do a pizza. Yeah, I could do pizza. Yeah. I could do a bunch of stuff. Have you cooked anything today? I actually have cooked something today. Uh, London yeah. broil. Do you have any thoughts on that? That it's much cut of steak or meat, I guess beef. It's one I generally avoid. Yes, as you should. It is yes. unimpressive. It has nice beefy flavor, but there's nothing really else to it. Um, yeah. You've got to marinate a long time. But, I'm doing fingers, but uh, if you're familiar with the sous vide technique, mm -hmm. which is uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, circulator for, I don't know, 150 degrees for like eight or nine hours, it really breaks it down and tenderizes it well. And turns it into something much better than what it is. So. Yeah. Can you just? It, does it work reasonably well to just slow cook it in the oven? Because my impression is like it's both tough and has a low fat, low fat content. That is correct. They're both those things. I don't know if in the oven at a really low temp would work. Um, yes. Maybe on like a raised rack, it could do it. I don't know. I just got I a new that. raised rack. I love a raised rack. I did. Sylvie I is just... life. Thank you, Sir Carl. That's I I do not have a sous vide machine because I oh. did it in culinary school. Yes, I think you told me this. I did, and I was just kind of like, "This is this is some silly, oh, no, no, silly, no. proofy stuff." I, I am I am very much on the sous vide train. Yeah, so. I just generally like I try not to eat too much red meat. Yes, and so when I do, I try to like make it count. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and well, I think like, sous vide is the best preparation of a nice 
steak or something like that, personally. I think it's perfectly evenly cooked, and then you just give it that nice sear. Yeah. So. I can I do the same run. thing in the other. treasure hunting to do. Uh. <laughs> I, I use it for more like individual steaks rather than like a big, you know, we've talked reverse sear before. Mm -hmm. Which you could still reverse sear a steak, like a strip steak or whatever. Yeah, I do that on the rigs. Yeah. All right. I'm well, going to. Do what works for you. Yeah. As I say, never, I never try and yuck someone else's yum. That's true. And I should, I should give it a shot. Speaking of which. London Brown's always on sale. Yeah. That's, that's the only reason I even got it. It was like $2 a pound. So I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. And I'm going to make a boneless leg of lamb tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah. It was it was five dollars off at Costco. That's nice. And I went to Costco while I was feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> which is not a good way to go. That's there. a good way to spend uh, a lot of money real fast. Yes, I went with my mother, which meant that we spent even more money real fast. <laughs> But bonus, are you gonna do? What, how are you gonna? Do, are you gonna do some holes with some garlic in there? Or so what I'm thinking of doing is tonight I'm I got a couple of uh, heads of garlic with nothing much else to do with them. Yeah. And so I'm gonna put them in a Cuisinart with some salt and pepper, and then I have a bunch of rosemary and marjoram. When you say Cuisinart, you mean a, a food, like processor. food processor? Okay, yeah. Yes. I have a food I have a food processor that I'm trying very hard to break because it's really bad and it's almost broken <laughs> but I can't get rid of it until it's broken. It's like you can throw feel that margarine in the freezer <laughs> and that'll break it up. <laughs> oh, oh, not margarine, marjoram. Oh, Mar oh marjoram. Oh, so you're making like a nice spice blend with some so like yes. a paste. You're making a paste. Yeah, yeah. That so that's nice. what I'm thinking of doing. Yeah, yeah. No, margarine doesn't have much of a place in. In my kitchen. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used margarine either. I mean, why? Butter's right there. I guess it's got I've, a higher... It has a higher fat content. Higher it fat can. content, higher uh, burn point? I don't even know. Um, no, it no. was... It's one of those things that got marketed successfully as a counterpoint to lard. Yes. Um, when they thought that lard was really, really bad for you but, and trans fats like... Yeah, but that's like a very 80s way of looking yes. at things right yeah of, of, of health and stuff uh mm -hmm. costco chat sir carol i guess doesn't have one near them uh are you a costco loyalist emma in terms of your big your big warehouse style stores your bj's is uh, your your sam's clubs what have you i've never lived near uh bj's mm. and i do not um I do not patronize anything owned by the Walton family. Oh, okay. So that's fair. There you go. Mm -hmm. I do. It's um like my first job out of college, like the first thing that I was like, I'm mm -hmm. I'm I made it was I bought a Costco membership purely because it was the only place I could find at the time where I could buy lamb chops. Oh, so yeah, I love uh Costco definitely has high quality in terms of of all their their meat and produce and i love the story of the president or the original founder of costco um you know the, what is it like a buck 50 for a hot dog and a soda is that yep, it? It is. yes so uh the founder moved on he no longer became the president he stepped down and the new president was like listen i gotta we gotta the raise the price we gotta do something about this Mm -hmm. And the original nope. owner said, figure it out or I'll kill you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yes. Costco, Costco is the king of putting out tantalizing loss leaders. Yes. To make you. The, those chickens, right? Shit. Those chickens, those rotisserie chickens that they're, <laughs> they're also famous for. That's a loss leader as well. So. Yep. Very funny. Fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Figure it out. You will not get. You. Yes. Much like an outlet center, you will mm -hmm. not always get the best deal at a Costco. Mm. But my God, it's convenient. Yeah, it's convenient. Especially when you live with more than one person. Yeah, it, it, you'll always be happy with the quality. Like, you'll never be unhappy. It, you may feel like you paid more for it, but it'll still, you'll never be like, well, this is a bad steak or a bag semi boneless leg of lamb. Oh, yeah, the meat especially is. Yeah really good i do uh, like i i understand if you have personal issues with walmart that make you not want to sh shop there but mm -hmm. in terms of getting like a brisket or a whole brisket i have unable to source them anyplace outside of a walmart or a sam's club yeah 
Costco, they do have briskets, but they trim them really closely. Oh, so I want to be, I want to do that myself. I got my new filleting yeah. knife that I'm excited about. I want nice. the whole big bad boy. I know. I wish there was some place where you could buy like a whole primal because like I was, I went to well, culinary school and I know what to yes. do. Yes, I would also like go in on half a or a quarter of a cow with someone, just mm -hmm. and like not be and, and yeah, I'll break it down myself. I wouldn't be discouraged by that. It would be a a fun exercise, I think. I have I have done such things. It, mm. it is. It's fascinating. Mm. Um. And speaking of farm, farm, farmers and butchers and people, yes, I was is it at, time? Yes. So, as I've mentioned on the show before, I have a uh, recurring membership with a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture. I give money to a farm every month, and I take vegetables home. They also have cattle and stuff. That's actually the primary thing. Um, but I don't do that. But because I am there, I signed up for them monthly. They give me a gift every month. And this gift this month is they gave me any bubbly drink in the bubbly drink container, like in the cooler. Bubbly, bubbly being a seltzer brand or literally just there. It was of just any seltzer. any carbonated drink they had. I was allowed to take one. And so uh, the, the guy was like, we have some kombuchas and stuff. And I I'm like kind kombucha. of like, do you like kombucha? Kombucha thoughts. Yeah. I've got a kombucha container right here. It's for it's Health Aid brand. Oh. Watermelon. Look, it's got a little watermelon guy on it. You it's just it? not my it's not my favorite thing. I don't really seek it out. But he's like, we have some kombuchas and we have some vegetable seltzers. Ooh. And I was like, hold up. What? And he point he pointed this up and it's show it show it to the camera i'm showing it to the camera uh, hold on. let's see yes this is a local vermont brand a little, little to your right yes yeah. see it oh, says the other way veg seltzer veg seltzer yep parsnip urfa bieber or biber which i looked it up is a kind of turkish chili pepper and orange as huh. if that makes it okay but yeah, it's so, savory seltzer. Does it? Oh man, does it have like a daily uh, serving of vegetables or something like one serving? No, it's no. seltzer. So we got it's zero seltzer. zero calories. Zero calories, zero anything, huh. except for a little bit of sodium. Okay, sure. Well, that's seltzer. Has and I told the guy, I'm I'm good for weird drinks. This is like this is like a hippie food, like very very crunchy granola and when i say that in vermont it's like more than what sure. you think if you don't yeah, live yeah, in vermont yeah, yeah. um like kind of crunchy place and hi lydia yeah it's savory oh. seltzer yeah and i was gonna say she likes the spicy waters quite a bit so yes and so i was like Parsing. fuck it yeah <laughs> live dangerously i will i'll do this and then i remember that we have a twitch show tonight i'm like I'll drink the weird thing. Yeah, I like this idea of one of us eating or drinking something weird um, every week. I mean, I I already talked. Maybe next week yeah. we'll be doing the one chip challenge. It yes. is in the shape of a coffin. And everyone can watch me cry on stream. That'll be fun. That's good. That'll be for different <laughs> is reasons. Is that good that content? Expect. Sure. <laughs> it is. We'll clip it. I'm a little. I don't know what to make of this because we'll both this. the guy and then another farmer person who I talk to a lot. Um, when I showed them this, they're like, "Yeah, it's okay," and I'm like, "Yeah, he's not. He's he's not bad." And one of these people I've seen eat a raw beet like an apple. Like Was these it, are okay. vegetable people. Well, hold on. Was the you know? beet like peeled? Oh, that might not be so bad. It, it was, was washed like... off. Okay. But raw, it still had its like wash beat. weird exoskeleton to it. You know what I'm talking about? Like the peel? Yeah, the peel. That's the word. Yeah, I mean it's the peel. I, on can the you eat that? Pretty thin. Oh, yeah. is it? Okay. Oh, you're I guess pretty thin. You're right. It's just that col the color of the peel is always really. Funny. Oh, it's because it's, it's covered in gray. dirt. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but no, it's okay. Like you ever see like a golden beet where they look very golden? It's just because like the skin on a red beet is very dark. Oh. A little dirty. It's not that I'm bad. I'm not familiar with the golden beets. 
Oh no. Do anything right. They're really good. They're like better than red I beets. I like beets. I just, I don't like uh, staining my fingers uh, an off-putting color of yellow when cooking with beets. Oh yeah, with the golden beet? Or uh, not yellow, uh, purple. Red? Yes. Yeah, red. I purple. like that because then usually what I do is I pretend that I've cut myself and then I show the nearest no, adult. No, this is not a fun <laughs> joke. This is this not is. a fun prank. It is. It's very fun. And they, haha, I'm making beets. And then they're like, screw you. Because yeah. I'm also the only person in my house who enjoys beets. Beets are nice. All right. I like them. So, so yeah, for science. Let's do this. I don't. <laughs> Okay, and then I have a lime spin drift as a chaser if nice. I need it. Let's uh, let, let's get a smell test. First off, carbonation. That mm -hmm. I didn't. It didn't sound like a big big psh when you opened it. How do you think? Smell? It smells way more mellow than I expected, and I'm relieved. I mean, they can only do so much if there's zero calories in there. You know what I mean? In terms of flavor additions. It smells earthy. Like I'm not gonna okay. lie. Not unpleasantly earthy, or? I mean, I'm a big parsnip mm. fan. Are you a parsnip fan? I don't. I think we were talking about tur. I like turnips. Mhm. Mm parsnips are similar. So parsnips are like white carrots. Okay, That's so parsnip. Like. I feel like parsnip fries might be a thing. Mhm. Mm they are. Okay, I think I might have had them in that here. context. Yes. They have a more higher starch content than yes. than a carrot. Okay. And they have sort of like a spicy, earthy. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Like a radish and, and yeah. a carrot had a baby. Oh, it's better than that. Better than that. Okay. I think so. I'm not big on radishes myself. But uh, uh, yeah, radish. Yeah, radish is fine. I like a spicy radish. Like I used to yeah, I like spicy radish. I like raw. I like the crunch. The crunch from a raw sliced radish, maybe somewhere. Anyway. It's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, people people who are watching this, have you had parsnips? Do you enjoy them? They're very good. Tell you us can... about your parsnip experiences in chat, please. Yeah, you can um, you can caramelize them very easily. Because they oh, have such sure. a high starch content. If you just yeah. cook them slowly long enough, they'll get caramelized. Oh, good. nice. Wow. So That's, I like them. What don't you do? Anyway, you like them. Do you yeah. like this seltzer? It smells kind of good. What is the brand again? What is the brand? That's a good question. It's something local in Vermont. Okay. Um, made with whole food grown by the good people in the beautiful state of Vermont. Okay. Um... Made in Vermont, born in Montreal. Oh, it's, um, it's, Whoa. I think it's pronounced savory, but it's, it's spelled S-A-V-O-U-R-E with an agu accent on it. Interesting. In Bristol, Vermont, which is a town that is not too far out of Middlebury, which is where, like, Middlebury College, if you've ever heard of Middlebury College. It's kind of a, it's kind of. It's a really strong, small liberal arts college for poli poli sci. Oh, that's what we're for. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's like it's Vermont's far and away one of the big players in the political field, so it makes sense to me. We got Bernie, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, I'll shut up. Yep. We All had right. we had Howard Dean. I actually I went to school with Howard Dean's daughter. Oh he's wow. A good guy. Yeah, um, he's a good dude. Oh, but so, yeah, so I'm gonna drink give that. This. A sip. Sir Carroll says. My sister does these parsnip carrot sticks wrapped in bacon bundles for holidays that are a big hit. Do recommend. That sounds incredible. Uh oh. It Confusion is what I'm getting from your from your facial expression, which I think we all know was what the initial reaction was going to be. But okay, here's the thing. Okay. It if you put sugar in it and told me it was sarsaparilla, I would believe you. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it tastes like sarsaparilla with no sugar. So it kind of has like that that tanginess to it's it. Kind of like slight tangy, bitterness. Spicy. Yeah. Slight bitterness, slight sourness. Like I'm a, wow. I'm, a I'm a fan of like the birch beer sarsaparilla sure. type. Yeah, like the old school. It tastes a face, lot so. like that. Interesting. I wish it was more more carbonated. Oh, so how's that? How is the carbonation level? Is it on the softer side, softer it's bubble side? Yeah, it's it's like a lacroix that you left out for a couple hours. Oh ooh, no! See, I want the the bubbliest. I want all them bubbles when I have a yeah. when I have a carbonated beverage. So it's I'm I'm actually surprised. I'm going with my farmer friends. It's not bad. Oh, all right, all right. It's not bad. It would be an excellent mixer with gin. 
Oh, I love Something cherry. like that. So, yeah. It's got that same sort of herbaceous mm -hmm. weirdness to it. And then maybe you put a little lime in there too, a little acid to kind of mix oh, here. things up. Oh, here. I have some lime. Speaking of the lime spindrift. Oh, you're combining them. You crazy person. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh. That'd All be right. that'd be pretty good. It's cuz it's got orange in it too. A oh, yes. Yeah. So it already has a little acid in there, but A little bit. Yeah. But yeah, mostly it's just not as carbonated as I would wish it Prefer, to be. Yeah. That's wild. It's I'm astounded that that's not that bad. Oh, look at that. I mean, it should be. It's a it's a fucking product somebody found. Wow. There you go. There you Savory go. veg seltzer. Turned out pretty all right. It did. It's pretty okay. I have definitely drank a bunch of things that taste gross that hopefully give like you know vegetable servings or whatever so i thought that was going to be some some wild shit yeah thing. i'm actually not that i'm not an adventurous drinker oh really i don't i if i have juice i want it to be fruits mm. i will eat my vegetables mm. but i do not like i don't like funky funky beverages most uh, of the time. Polar Seltzer, one of my favorite seltzers. I once entered a contest for Polar Seltzer to win a smart car. And really? Yes. I made a video of myself. I don't even remember. This was like 2011 or something. Mm -hmm. um, like five people entered and I got all my friends to vote mine up. So I'm like, oh, I'm wow. a shoe in But ends up the voter, the voter portion was... Uh, not as valuable as the judge portion so yeah. i did have a lot of votes but they like some other persons instead i did get a bunch of coupons for free polar seltzer and that that's was good, nice because that might be my favorite brand they also do that a really great uh ginger ale and dry orange which i don't have you heard of this that's my father the diet version of that is my father's beverage of choice yes this is like a, a new england thing the dry orange mm -hmm. orange dry there's orange also grapefruit dry, dry yeah. which is quite Ooh, good oh that's right they do like a grapefruit soda that I really it's like, like a too. it's like fresca mm -hmm. before fresca <laughs> went sugar-free all the time yes yeah, yeah. really that's one that will really kick you in the face i like that mm -hmm. i like that soda a lot have you read moxie i Emma! Sorry. I, I went to Cracker Barrel for my brother's birthday uh, last week, two weeks ago, and you know <laughs> I grabbed a Moxie. <laughs> that nice. weird ass, undistinguishable, unexplainable flavor. Moxie. That's, that is a known Vermont thing. Yes. Yeah. It's, I Cracker like it. Barrel is the only place I've ever seen it. And I looked into like ordering it online. And it's like outrageously expensive <laughs> to, to get it shipped to you, which is a bummer because yeah. like, I'm sure if you're a native New Englander and you move across the country, you're like, I cannot find Moxie anywhere. Let me ship Moxie to myself. Okay, it's never not, mind. I'm not shipping yeah. Moxie to myself. <laughs> it's not necessarily easy to find, like I live in the big city mm -hmm. in Vermont. And like, you can, I find it more in like rural areas. Interesting. Than this. Um, but I still I, I like it. It tastes good. I do weird. like it. I mean, it's super like when you look at the sugar content of it, you're like, really? It tastes so weird. But there's a lot of sugar in that, so it's a once in a time treat. Yeah, but, we uh, might have to find some find some moxie. Also, I had a friend who recently had a sweet corn soda. Yeah, the weird soda industry is definitely a nasty. Thing. I don't know. I, I like sweet corn. I like that flavor. So I know, it, it doesn't work. sound too weird to me. Yeah. But it, it feels like maybe it would be kind of like if you ever had Big Red, like with proper sugar, uh, maybe kind of like know. that. I had Big Red, but maybe not with proper sugar. That's the cream it, soda, right? Yeah. Or I don't it's even know what it bubble is. Bubble gum flavor. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Yeah. I think you're right. Sort of. And and when you get it with you get it in a glass bottle with just pure cane sugar, mm -hmm. it's like sixty grams of sugar and twelve oh ounces of it. Like, it's insane. It's got had... like oh, sorry, go nasty. It's um, good. Have you ever had Iron Brew, the Scottish soda? No. I have some of that in my in my my treat closet. Yes, in my closet yeah, the there treat, are a bunch of a whole treats. closet for treats. Yeah. Well, there's a shelf that's the treat shelf in the closet. Oh, nice. It's also a, a clothes closet, as one would expect, but there are treats okay. in there. But uh, I ordered a case of Iron Brew. It's this off-putting orange color, I guess, is the way I would put it. And it mm -hmm. tastes like bubble gum. Yeah, kind of like a weird bubble gum flavor. That really, sounds great. Really unique. Uh, 
Scot one of the biggest Scottish like food cultural things. I've heard of it. I thought it was pronounced like urn brew. So it's spelled thought. like urn brew, but I think it's, yeah. I mean, the Scottish accent, they call it iron, iron brew. So, iron brew. Iron okay, brew. cool. I would try it. Definitely. That sounds wonderful. I got a bottle waiting for you, Emma. Nice. Um, Does that mean I have to go to New Jersey? Don't say it like it's a bad thing, okay? <laughs> oh, it's, no, it means I have to go to Vermont. It's not like there's a whole... Uh, coming to Vermont is lovely. It's a major industry. The Garden State, Emma. Called that for a reason. I always right? thought that was ironic. No. No. <laughs> where are the gardens? I've South never Jersey. Seen it's all farms around here where I live. Okay. Yeah. Surprise. I, I know. It's North Jersey is the industrious part of the state. South yeah. Jersey is the farm. They say, what, North Jersey people say, South Jersey smells like manure, and South Jersey people say, North Jersey smells like garbage. That's the mm. kind of uh, rivalry mm. that's going on within the state. That's true. It's it's everybody who doesn't live in the big in the big city of, of oh, Burlington, the Vermont. The the big city being 42,000 people. <laughs> uh, hates of the Burlington. Pirate interesting very the much the so. unknown drunk they really do face down and i i have no ill will towards anybody else because <laughs> they they grow all the good things and they make the vegetable seltzer sure. that, oh yeah which is not bad not bad not bad not bad <laughs> that's 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 the rating good not bad not bad i wouldn't call it good okay like if i if i paid money for it oh Okay. I would be upset. And how much do you think you would have paid that for name? it? He didn't have in any money store. on him when he died. And like, somebody's got the like how much do I think is this the price? Yeah, what's right the what's the retail price of that? Or on supermarket sweep? Given that it's a Vermont, I've been watching this shit out of out of vintage supermarket sweep. It's fun. It was a bad Trogor, my my five year old loves it. Um, like. Here lies Nibbles because it's like a local a Vermont guy. product, and like the packaging is like yes. cool. Yes, you're probably looking at a two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for one for one price point. Ounce. Yeah, which is kind of absurd. Yeah, and it doesn't even have. Yeah, it, I mean that's the thing is it's still zero cal's. I'm just I'm I'm just scratching my head because it's like what's Stands the point? Like who's ever like. I need a vegetable flavored seltzer. No, I just there's just too much fruit name? flavor in my life. Yeah, he died and I am. Um, you know what I mean? Stand. Yeah, I. And I'm I'm gonna keep harping on this, but the fact that it has no real nutritional value and it's still zero calories, I don't know that I would want to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm I used to be super into seltzer, but then I found spindrift because I would just mix juice and seltzer. Sure. To have bubbly skip things. The, skip Lindy, that. The yeah. yeah. I try not to drink sodas myself unless sure. it's like dessert. Agreed. But you know, I'm never like I just I'm just sick of those booby traps. Sick of those slightly sweet tasting. They made a map yeah. which they divided into four pieces. I, I do like spinning a lot. The Ref Scallion the grape was in the steam and weenie the hut grape, on Scab Island. The grape, it was a huge uh, success, but it fell into disrepair after really Rap was killed in a fire. Oh, yeah. Fire. I have a lot of that. You can get it at Costco. There's, there's, there's a lemon tea spin drift. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising. I think I went through gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers like retired off the coast of hundred in he three weeks. Contest they were on the they were on discount on Amazon, so I grabbed mm -hmm. a bunch of them. The and just, I drank so many of the them. I know. Ugh. This is the most bougie stream on Twitch right now. Because we because what because we love Spindrift. We're talking about Costco and Spindrift. <laughs> Jesus. We haven't uh, done anything in the same, have we? I just read a book that I think told me what I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's see. I keep drinking this. The Garden State like, soundtrack. Sorry, someone brought up that in chat. And um, Garden that State. That's a good. It's a good. It's a great soundtrack. It's a, the movie itself. So I I went to TCN, uh, the College of New Jersey, mm. the year after Garden State came out, and I'll be damned if every single student at that college wasn't like, it's like. It's like they filmed my life. <laughs> and they're all wrong. Because it's such a weird, specific movie with such a weird, specific plot. But just like every college student 
at the college in New Jersey wanted to relate to that movie so much because it was called Garden State. Oh, um, I, I can, I can see that. I felt the same way about Super Troopers. Oh, is that in Vermont specifically? It's set in Vermont. Okay. It, is not, it was not filmed in Vermont, and it doesn't no. look like it was filmed in Vermont. But when I was... It, 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 it was kind of a cult classic that gained oh, popularity yeah. by the time I was already in Texas. Okay. And if people had heard of Vermont, which was... 50 50 like <laughs> closed. they would ask if it was like super troopers and i said ha! no except for the fact that i can hey, drink Master, a shot of maple syrup, syrup like a knife like that. Uh, uh, that's the truth no uh, wait, a truth. shot you said right at least a shot okay it's good i would do that yeah the real it's real deal yeah yeah like it's a once in a time treat like soda shot of mm -hmm. maple syrup but you know sometimes it's what you want I just can't let my child see me do that. <laughs> yes. Does That's your all. does your little guy have a, a sweet tooth? Very much so. His door appears to be locked. Quite aggressively. <laughs> He's my child. <laughs> That's how that goes. You are my spawn. He is. He, looks he is. He, what about Jim? He, does he like sweet a lot or kind of? Hmm. He's more of like a savory, like salty snack kind of person, but he'll do some. He was, he, we've been together for, actually on Friday, we will have been married for 17 years. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Um, and when I first met him, he didn't really eat any vegetables to speak of mm. and very few fruits or anything and so i've got got him to expand his horizons a bit but fruity desserts are not really his thing oh and that's my primary thing i was gonna personally. say like fruit tart is it's quality three. it's my top one of, in my top three desserts so it's I great love a fruit tart. i made i got i got some rhubarb from the farm today oh. so I, I made a r strawberry rhubarb crumble oh my goodness. earlier that sounds really good it was very nice. I'll send you a picture later. I would love to see a picture of that. Yeah, it's a successful crumble. Nice rhubarb. Yeah. yeah. Is there any other use for rhubarb besides that specific pie? Yeah, I mean you can use it on its own. Um, I've like seen eating it. Eating it raw. You raw can eat barb? it. You can. Like when I was a kid, what we would do because it grows like wild here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it grows like on the side of my driveway. Whoa. Um, but it's not very very good it's really like stringy and gross not mm. like juicy tender ones um and so you get it Can't and then you that. peel it a little bit okay. and then you get a cup of sugar and then you dunk it in the sugar and use it like fun dips that's what oh. we do okay but, sugar. okay yeah I can, but you can, can pickle it and it makes a good like quick pickle oh. you can do it um there's a bakery here that does like little little puff pastry custard squares with little strips of poached rhubarb on top. Okay. It's good. I mean, like yeah, you can use it like good. any other tart acidic fruit thing. Okay. I just wasn't sure if its texture really needs like cooking down before you can actually eat it. Not no, not really. It's it's okay. it's kind of like um it's slightly like it's like a really juicy celery. <laughs> without oh. so much stringiness. Alright. I don't know that I can get it here in New Jersey, like raw, in a store. Really? I don't know. I've never really looked for it, but yeah, I don't think it's just available at your grocery store produce section. Interesting. I would think it was it would like just grow everywhere there. Mm. We are That's the Garden why. State, so I understand the why you would think that. But uh... yeah, magic berries are those those things that um you Mir eat them and then it makes sour taste sweet. Berries. I have so many of those pills. Uh, oh. They call it flavor tripping. I've never tried it. I've always yeah, wanted I have so to. many of them because, uh, well, I'll tell you off stream why I have so many of them. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> not ominous. Uh, they're fun. They're really, really fun to bring those to a party and get a bunch of stuff and just like, yeah, acidic stuff. But also like if you bring like a uh, stout beer or heavy beers, that also kind of makes things change. Oh, um, it's like anything wise. like bitter? Yes, exactly. Bitter or sour. It kind of messes with the flavor profile. Hoppy beers, mm -hmm. another one that kind of like wilds Drink it Drink a Negroni. Out. Yeah. And, oh, sure. Yeah, that's That'd a great example, a Negroni. Uh, yeah, so it sounds like Sir Carol did the same thing. It's Yeah, it's just a fun, fun party thing. Just have a bunch of stuff lined up and here, eat one of these. Now try it. It only lasts like half an hour or two, so it 
doesn't like that's really longer than i would think it would yeah that's wild yeah actually that's the ones cool. i have specifically marketed themselves as a kind of like diet supplement where if you're trying to avoid really sugary stuff oh you eat this and then just have like a lime which still has sugar in it but doesn't have like you know not much yeah exactly it doesn't have the same sugar as a piece of pie or something like that no so. that's awesome fascinating stuff yeah fun stuff yeah now i just want to eat some eat some rhubarb eat some rhubarb at this point just go to the side of the road i can i can go in my driveway <laughs> My driveway really has that. Today? Has wild strawberries, which are always really bad. Wow. Oh, that's a bummer. It is, and it, and it has some kind of squash plant that never quite makes it. But I'm rooting for it this year. I like year. strawberries three times as much as other things. You do? Does that mean that's like your favorite thing? Maybe not my favorite thing. No. I like it strawberries a lot. Though. What's Strawberry your favorite candy? fruit? I think I said the other day banana is the king of fruit, and I think I may stand by that. Did you just make a face? <laughs> no. Uh, That's fine. Honey crisp apple is up there. That's one of my favorites. Have really you ever cool. tried the envy apple? No, I get confused about all the apple types. I know honey crisp, and I know I like that one a lot. I know red delicious, and I know I'm pretty sure I don't like that one. And no, then, it's dry. Yeah, it's got a weird mealy kind of flavor to mm -hmm. it. And then there's a couple ones that I know for baking. That they mm -hmm. use for baking, but I know all the apples. I'm from Vermont. Oh. People don't know. We're very what, into uh, apples. What's your favorite fruit then? My I like favorite pineapple. Fruit? I think I like mangoes. Mango. Yeah, I like mango a lot. Like the golden mangoes? Yeah. Like a nice Those mango is really good. It's less I can get them less up here. That you living in Texas, there's a certain time of year, two times of the year, where you can get like eight of them for a dollar. It's great. There's a Thai dessert that's like mango with sticky rice, and it's good stuff. Um, yeah, and like a cream, like a cream salt. It's so fu mm -hmm. uh, fudge and good. So fudge and good. So fudge and good. That's my yeah, one of my favorite desserts. But no, you just, just don't like banana in general, or are you just like? Who I like I like banana desserts. One? I don't like dessert. bananas themselves. There's like a very specific window in which of mm. ripeness where I really enjoy them. Mm. And the rest of the time I find them pretty nasty. Mm. But I'm, I'm, if I'm going to just eat fruit, I don't know, it depends on what time of, time of year it is. Mm. Overall, I'm, I'm overwhelmingly way more into vegetables than I am fruit. Interesting. I like, like if I had to pick one, like a berry, a mixed berry salad. I like that strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and blackberries and you throw all them together mm -hmm. I'm get, I really like here. watermelon eh, I'm okay with watermelon I was I felt the same way and then I was pregnant in the summer in Texas and by the end I was going through like a watermelon a day wow did you specifically get the one without the seeds that science created well science created everything we yeah. oh yeah, GMOs. Sort of. Yeah, GMOs. I guess that makes sense. But sort of. um, this, I mean, those you, ones are neat. They are. They're good. I, I like them. And I got really good at picking them. And oh. Yeah. So I, I know how to pick a good watermelon. And that makes all the difference. Because it is... Watermelon is a lot like, like peaches or pears. That. Where if it's good, it's great. Oh, sure. But most of the time, it's... Yeah. Um... Or pear, worse. Well, it doesn't like, seem to uh, work. The Harry and David pears. Have you had those? Where they're almost always shit. Wow, disagree. Big disagree. Well, like whenever I get them, it's like they're they're not ripe at all. Wow. Well, when they go bad. I don't know. I've sad. had them like once where it's really good and it's like like the ads used to be where it's like you can eat it with a spoon, which yes. isn't really like unique to a pear, but okay. Oh. Harry and David. I'm sorry that you've had bad Harry and David pair experiences because when they hit, they hit hard. Yeah. Again, yeah. bougiest, bougiest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. My monthly subscription to Harry and David Fruits. The highlight is always the pears. It's like you're my grandma. Oh my God. <laughs> what are we supposed to do in this game? I don't even know. I'm supposed to get know. in here and I don't know how to get in here. I know I'm supposed to go in here because the entrance is blocked. Can you said. use the knife? The door is locked. I tried the knife and I tried the pins and I tried the stick. I feel like, like the knife the... should should move the story along for 
I feel like, pen. yes, I agree. I feel like knife so should be one of those, uh, Can you use the know, pins? I tried the pins. Like I tried the, the I tried the shovel. I tried everything that could be used with a door. Mm. I think. What if I did this? Pins on I don't want to pin him. Oh, okay. Um, I think we might, we might need to go to the strategy guide, Emma, if you could. Yeah, I'm just seeing where the hell we are. We scared Largo off. We need access to the captain, mm -hmm. Captain Marley's boat. All right. Or Captain Dredd's boat. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to go in here. I don't remember actually. It says you're supposed to give Captain Dredd the monocle. Oh. Really? Yeah. Okay. I guess. Okay. We did steal the monocle from that poor cartographer earlier for no we reason. We do, and he needed that. He needs it to see, but we need it to charter a boat. Charter ship. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Sure. Sure. You use MacGuffin to get him MacGuffin. This is, <laughs> this is adventure like game logic. It's adventure game logic. It's like game the computer logic. game version of the person who's like, I started with a paper clip and I traded up until I got a camper <laughs> whatever that's what Guybrush does that's his talent I'm just waiting for him to say I'm Bob and are you my mother <laughs> that's always the best Would part like my monocle? of any of these games do just fine uh, how in the world were you supposed to make that what can uh, I do for that's you? baffling that I need to charter a ship. The monocle is supposed to be alternative to Uma his necklace. Lucky sailing the, necklace? So it has the eye of his dead like navigator on it. <laughs> you don't look like well, you're supposed to just... I mean... Yeah, you're right. oh, no, I don't I know. I feel too. like they weren't really maybe thinking through... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, all of this. Now I need 20 pieces of aid as well. I mean, 20 pieces of aid. Which is gold or whatever the money is. It's the currency of the, the world. Oh. Uh, do you want to give me a hint? I If I knew the answer, Rudy. Okay. Then... <laughs> but I'm looking. It just says he ran off and you're supposed to do anything. Um. It's a good thing I love the music in this game so much. I know. I wish I could listen. Um. What the hell? Let's see. Is the guy, is the monkey here? Hmm? No, he's not here. Someone plays the piano later. It's a monkey. A monkey plays the piano. And I like that part because I like seeing the monkey. Let's see. If we go to Largo's room, maybe he left money somewhere. Maybe he did. I don't see it. Buck mud. Do all this. It's empty. Oh, this is well, it doesn't seem to open. I go song for this too. I love this game. Oh, go back to the room. Use pins on it. I don't see anything special about back it. Back to the room, lady. Never take really it out. Understood art. Give the monocle. Hey, He'll agree to do this. It says that there's supposed to be a, a, a cut scene with LeChuck after that point. No. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I love adventure games and I hate adventure games. Let me see. Hold on. Where's the skip puzzle button? Let me see. Did we? Hmm. Did you get the cook fired yet? Yes. Okay, Wait. we did that. Maybe? Wait. <laughs> Show me your inventory. Maybe he's not fired. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to put the rat in the soup. Okay. He did not, yeah. I did not fire. I get him fired yet. And then I get hired and I get my payment up front, right? I'm pretty sure that's all right. It might be. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Try. Thank you, Assistant Rudy. <laughs> Thank you, Adventure Emma. Yeah. So, on one of the archives of this... Oh, um, yes. 
Thank you, Sir Carl. Somebody... He's they're headed out, so thank you for, for hanging and chatting. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Yes. So, Somebody has asked us for another another food related topic that has nothing yes. to do with this game, but it kind of does because yes. we're in a restaurant. Um, asked us, I believe, which casseroles we defend. Which casseroles? This is from Cool Cool Soak. Which casseroles you are willing to defend? Okay. So I first, I think it requires us to define what a casserole is. Mm. Well, you know? I I have an example that has casserole in the name. Okay. Um, I mentioned that I recently went to Cracker Barrel. Yes. The hash brown casserole from Cracker Barrel is maybe the best thing on their menu, and their menu <laughs> is very delicious and very fun. So, uh, and I know this is just like a chain restaurant and kind of a stupid one at that, but I I've love. I've been there that once. Hash brown. Yeah. And the breakfast was pretty good. Excuse me. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And it's yeah, always boy. like super reasonable. The That's the other thing. It's, it's, um, you get, and you get to rock in a big old yes, rocking chair. Rock like, what's chair. what's yeah. to dislike? Yeah. Honestly, um, other than that, you feel like you're cream. about to get, you know, shot by <laughs> in right experience. Yes, that is, that is the downside of the Cracker Barrel experience. <laughs> But the hash brown casserole at Cracker Barrel is so good. When we got it, usually you get to pick like two or three sides with stuff. My father's mm -hmm. like, I'll get the hash brown casserole, the dumplings, and I guess another hash brown casserole. And I'm like, good choice, Dad. I am truly your son. Because that was the right answer. That was the right answer. What's in it? It's got, I think, like sour cream, cheddar cheese. And it's just, it's... um. Like the grated kind of hash browns, mm -hmm. but it's really like squished together and dense in a way that makes it really, really delicious. Um, they have is it like yeah. I'm getting like scallop potato vibes, but with yeah, hash brown that's potato. a good comparison. Yeah, it has uh, like that tang, that zing that a scallop potato has from like the nice. onion and stuff. Um, really, really, really good. Uh, not your traditional answer, I don't think, but. That's no. my choice. Yeah, hash brown casserole. Hey, uh, I'm trying to think. Because, like, you know, so casserole is typically something that is baked. Yeah. That has a bunch fact, of components which are typically mixed together but, but could be layered as well. I suppose yeah. like lasagna works. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is lasagna. Like, I'm trying to think because, like, I know there must be some things that I like about that. But to be honest, living in Texas and spe specifically East Texas, which is a very, like, Southern vibe, um, you come into contact with a lot of casseroles that are not good. <laughs> a lot of, like, like cream of chicken base or cream of mushroom base things that are not very good. But, oh, here's one that's really good. King Ranch Chicken. King Ranch? King, King Ranch Chicken. So it's basically kind of like an well, enchilada casserole, so which is okay. another thing that another I'm thing that I make. That hungry, just because it's easier Dang. to make like a layered casserole out of a traditional enchiladas in than it is to roll each one and then yeah, do it absolutely. like that. Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Um that would be my number one and I I do that a lot where I'd like I'd make my own enchilada sauce. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Do it all up and like poach the chicken and do the whole thing. Um, but like King Ranch chicken is kind it's the most like traditional casserole that I really enjoy. Where it's like take like some kind of chicken i don't yeah. know what yeah um and mix it with like the ranch packet usually, like no it has nothing to do with ranch oh that's the weird thing Interesting. it's texan so it's like tex-mex so it's oh. kind of like mixed with like queso -y type stuff Ooh. like any bean we got beans going on in there or no beans or... occasionally there are beans i prefer it without the beans mm. And usually it's usually it's like a Rotel and Velveeta situation oh, okay, sure. with a lot of cheese and there's like tortillas in there sometimes. Oh, I like that. A little bit. All and right. it's usually flour tortillas, which is always really confusing, but mm. it just kind of works. Yeah. And then you put a bunch of cheese all over the top that and it's amazing. Like any casserole a winner in my book. Like it's, I've only almost always only had it because somebody who knows somebody else through church mm. gave it to them mm -hmm. it's me again it's one of those things oh, i see <laughs> yeah it's, what can i do it's for really you good time on? that sounds it's really, really good. good yeah I need it's delicious. 
but yeah, any sort of casserole thing like that is winner to me. Mm. Most of the rest, hard pass. Yeah, if you count lasagna, that would be my other big. Actually, I do have that lasagna. I have the, there's a chorizo lasagna recipe I've been messing with lately from Maddie Matheson's, my favorite YouTube chef. Yikes! Um, that sounds good. It's so good. Like Mexican chorizo or Spanish chorizo? Mexican chorizo. So it's the kind you. Um, it's it's like sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, but with like so loose green, meat yeah, yes exactly so you gotta saute it and you make like a ragu essentially with uh, beef broth and you make a meat sauce yeah and then you layer that with the traditional so lasagna ingredients and maybe some more like uh, mexican cheeses Oops. and then you put a I nice salsa verde on top Just this oh, one and that really brings Marco. it together so, oh, yeah. Because they tell me chorizo is on guy brush three Um, it's how about we go through this cutscene? And I found yeah. And then I think Very close good. it out for the night. No yeah. one okay. Upper hand on yeah. Chuck without cool. guy brush three wood. I want guy brush brought to me. And okay, I so is this LeChuck's body? Yes. I am His uh, animated, like, zombified body. Yes. Me. Okay. I guess Remember off. Lungs were clear. Off. Camera, of this happened. Guy they brought him back to life. Okay. I need you um, to start that probably could have made a, a very special good cutscene, but okay. With I mean, this is it's got to be kid friendly, I guess. Yeah, I guess that could have been spooky. Okay, well, here we are. Yeah, as opposed to just a, a talking, talking zombie that's promising it has a picture of a <laughs> to hurt the protagonist. There he is. Let's look at our, our islands the and then okay. let's decide. Let's go. Which one are going to yeah, next Yeah, yeah. What are my choices? I don't know. You should pick what up the choices? parrot chow. Oh, I know. know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. Okay. Right. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Mm. What are my choices? And there's Booty Island, the festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is okay. Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an over bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this we have to go to, to the one map, with your wife on it. Yeah, use it to show right? You it's Elaine. Are you still know, married to Elaine? I, I don't know if you're married to. Do you get I married you to Elaine? I thought you get married to her. I don't remember. I thought you did. I think you might be right. I think there's a wedding ceremony at the end, but I don't recall yeah. exactly. Yeah. So that's Booty Island. How's this looking in 3D? It's fine. <laughs> Booty Island. Yeah. I think that there's a wedding because then, then LeChuck interrupts the oh, wedding. Oh, yes. I think right? you're right. Or maybe LeChuck's trying to marry her and you interrupt the wedding? One of those. Something like that. Yeah. But, but eventually you're like you're married and you live there and you're so happy. Yes. And it's very... Mm, it's very cute. It's, it's rather sweet. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So let's go there, Booty Island. I like the idea of the party all the time Mardi Gras style island as well. That sounds pretty <laughs> fun. Heck yes. We're going in a very so, roundabout way to get there for some reason. Yeah, we really are. This will this will be fun. I've spent some time on Trinidad before, which is the place with like the biggest carnival and Mardi Gras celebrations. Really? Out yeah. It's carnival in particular is like the biggest one outside of Brazil. Wow. And yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I was there over Christmas, which was the best thing ever. Okay, so yeah. we got a costume shop. We got a guy with a cannon in front. Sweet. And I think that's where we'll end the stream for today. Let me, let me awesome. Say that, of course. So yeah, if you're if you're watching this later, tell us what are your favorite casseroles. Tell us about your favorite casseroles in chat, and be sure yeah. to. Uh, and your most that fun like, weird drink. Smash that like and sub button. Gotta yeah. do that. Smash the like and I love saying that. It's my favorite thing to say. Uh, it smash is. the like and sub and tell us all about your food thoughts. What do you think of spicy, savory seltzers? What do you think of uh, Miracle Berry tablets? And yeah. And what weird shit tripping? should we eat on this stream? For real. Next, I think we're going to do the one chip challenge. I got to buy some yogurt and some milk or something because I don't think that's going to yeah. be fun. You're gonna, um, need, you're gonna need some milk. I I it's am a spicy famous. person, in many ways, but I have a high spice tolerance, so we'll see, we'll see if I can okay. deal with this. I'm, I'm excited. Right on. I'm scared. Maybe I should try to get one. Oh, 
Maybe we'll do it. I'll do one. Let's let's mix it up so we don't do them together. Okay, we'll do it. We might we might need to like do like a bit, <laughs> like a bit challenge. Oh, a cha yeah, that's a good idea. Ooh, that's a very good idea. We'll keep that in mind for the future. For suffering. Yeah, for suffering. Pay us for suffering. Pay us for suffering. Please okay. Do. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Adventure Emma, and uh, I'm Assistant Rudy. Yeah. And we'll be back we'll next week. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be back next week and check out everything else we do on check Twitch and YouTube else. and podcasts and everywhere. All right. Goodbye. All right.